Way too hot, way too hot. My name is Vander Puchert and this is Finding Frequency. This morning we decided to head out to the river. And when I say this morning, my family always gets started very, very, very slowly. And uh, we ended up going to the river around, I think 11, 12 o'clock. Um, and when I say the river, I'm referring to the Wiswa River. Uh, a, a very main artery that runs through Poland, well-known river. And uh, there's a really nice boardwalk here. I think that's what you call it, a boardwalk. Um, recently renovated, but then there's also an older part that has these makeshift little pubs and bars around it. And there's like a little breakfast market there. And um, as usual, we had a way too slow start for my li liking, but it actually played out well because the market was also in a little bit of a slow start vibe not too much too many people there and uh, we had a really good time um, i had to stop off and have a gin and tonic um, i used to have a lot of those with good friends of mine in cape town so i relived a memory or two by just sitting in the shade having a gin and tonic and watching francie play in a little skate park and of course, we had a bicycle there. I was on the longboard. Marta was Marta was kind of following us everywhere, and uh, I think we stopped off at a few little spots just to hang out and just spend time together. And it's funny how you do these things, and then at the end of the day, you don't realize what you've done, and um, you think back at around these moments. There was one specific moment where Fra uh, where where Francie and Marta was dancing. It just at one of the stalls, they were playing a little bit of, I think, 80s music or something. And um, they just spontaneously started, started dancing together. And it was really just cool to sit there and watch the two have fun. Um, we also grabbed the public transport in. It's usually just better because when we go to the river, we always make the mistake to try and find parking. And it's never a good idea. We get frustrated. So we parked on our side of the river and jumped on the metro and uh, crossed the river and it was way easier, way more uh, fun for Francie because he loves the metro. We came back on the tram uh, to the car again. Um, yeah, in general, just a really, really cool day spent with the family, but we are all tired. I think also we make a mistake by going out so I, mean, I tend to want to go out early and in my day early. Uh, where I think it'd probably be wiser to go out a little bit later in Polish times because I think we all, all three of us are really tired. Um, I have a massive headache at the moment and I think the sun got to me a little bit. But uh, all in all, great day. Um, I just need to get some liquids in now. Um, then the other thing I needed to talk about too is that we are um, in the midst of packing for our kayak trip. Um, if you could see my, how my house looks like now, it's tents, um, a tent, not tents, sleeping bags, we have watertight bags. Um, the plan is, is that we will hire a kayak. Marta will take her paddleboard, so we will have two floating de flotation devices, and then we'll commence um, going down one of the rivers um, close to Brunica, where we have the country house. So... That's going to be a nice adventure. I, I'm not entirely sure. We, we, To be honest, we haven't really planned this thing out in detail. And to be honest, even with my uh, my updates, I was intending to, to set up a few things and prepare myself for recording in the field. And I haven't even done that. And that's exactly how we're kind of approaching this trip. Um, we're planning roughly to stay out for maybe two to three nights. Two nights will probably be just raw camping um the first night uh, we think and suspect that we'll be um staying out in the wild um and it's the polish wild so nothing's gonna attack us but apparently uh, the law here is also that um it's not like private property so we can stop off and this is people do this and we'll be camping next to um next to the river the first night just wherever we we get to we have a few landmarks and uh, also the person we're renting the kayak from will give us a bit of an indication of where we should should go of course with marta at hand we'll be stocked up there's no way that we'll be uh, going hungry or cold um, so the first night's going to be really roughing it but then also i need to explain that there's these little pubs bars and 
spots that you can stop off at and get uh, all kinds of food and things on the way. So it's a little bit of a fun thing. It's not like we're going into the wild country or anything. But it's going to be interesting. Uh, so the plan is that we're going to be out for about two nights in the rough. And then uh, just to, to spoil ourselves, we might stop off somewhere where we have a little bit of a better accommodation. Um, but we're going to keep it really, really rough and, and see what happens, see how Francie takes to it. If it's if it doesn't work, they'll come fetch us and we'll just come home then. Um, so it's in a way also cool just to do it that way where it's all flexible. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is how I'm going to be doing these updates. So if you don't hear from me, it means that I don't have connection and I can't update. But um, I will definitely record a few thoughts as I go along on the river and maybe give you a bit of a listen. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow we'll be packing, heading off to Brotnitsa, probably sleeping there for the night so we can have an early start. I wonder how early that start's going to be with my family. But um, that's the idea. So... Um, Tonight is the last night in the luxury of my nice soft bed and I'll be missing it for sure. But uh, let's see how this camping adventure um, is going to play out. As Francie references to it, he says he loves to and he wants to go fire camping. Yeah, I think he's referring to staying in a tent and wants to have a little bit of a barbecue. Let's see if we can make that happen. Hope you're having fun. If not, make a plan. Life's too short to, mediocre, to be mediocre. Thanks for listening.